What we're looking at tonight is what I call how to pray when surrounded by enemies. How to pray when surrounded by enemies. This teaching is for so many people here this evening. I like you to pay close attention. Then after the teaching, we are going into some serious warfare session. According to the teaching. Sisters, what are we teaching upon tonight? Brothers, how to pray when yeah, surrounded by enemies. In many instances in the Bible, you find Jesus rebuking people for weeping. There was a time Jesus rebuked people for weeping at a funeral. But he himself wept after Lazarus died. The question is why? The answer is that wrong spirits can move on people to weep. A spirit of fear can move some people to start weeping. Paul was a man who could weep and who could also rejoice. According to Philippians 3.8 and 2 Corinthians 2.4 The Bible talks about two kinds of sorrows. It talks about godly sorrows which work it repentance and then the sorrow of the world which worked death. Delilah, Delilah wept on Samson in order to get information to destroy Samson. Today many wives still weep until they get their way. Some weep because of self pity. If you go to prison houses or where a death sentence has been issued on somebody, there is a lot of weeping and crying. But if you look at it, most of them are weeping mostly because they were caught. This is not a godly sorrow that works repentance. The Bible says Esau cried because he had lost his birthright. He cried but he found no repentance. There is a lot of weeping in the world today. Many of our sisters have become a small expert at crying. But the trouble with weeping is that it, does, it never solves any problem. Especially if there is a wrong spirit. Back in that weeping. There's a lot of weeping all over the world today. But it does no good at all. Because people only weep when they're in trouble. There are some people they weep because it's customary to cry. When somebody begins to cry as a result of the enemy battling Israel alive and the crying is motivated by the wrong spirit you will be defeated when weeping comes spontaneously and is not a habit and is moved by the spirit of God 
It can get you great advantage. Ole but it's different from the kind of whooping we find these days amongst believers. Some whoop because they want an advantage. I've seen a businessman crying at a funeral in order to attack attract customers. Some will cry when they're in trouble. Somebody eats a car from behind and because the car he has destroyed is so expensive, he begins to cry. Somebody's son was jailed. He begins to weep in the court. I've seen a man who lost his girlfriend and he cried for two days. Some are moved by evil spirit to weep. Most of the weeping that you find these days is backed up by a discouraging spirit. Many people weep because they are moved by the wrong spirit. Many people weep because they are moved by the right spirit. Some weep because they are interceding. When you begin to talk about the levels of prayers, you get to a level of prayer that is called liquid prayer. That is, you are spraying like Anna in tears. But then, crying and weeping while surrounded by the enemy is a waste of time. How do you pray when surrounded by the enemy? Because I think I dealt with weeping first because a lot of us waste so much time crying, useless cries. If you are surrounded by the enemies and you start crying, then you make yourself an easy prey for destruction. All those crying in the morning, crying in the evening is a waste of time because if you are surrounded, you just empower your enemy more. If Jesus the purest man that visited the earth the selfless man who ever lived had enemies it is certain that we are going to have enemies this is why when you begin to study the Bible, you find different strategies in the warfare that is recorded in the Bible. There are many parallels between those Bible battles and the spiritual battles we now fight as Christians. Sometimes the enemy comes as a roaring lion. Sometimes the enemy comes as an angel of light. But be assured that the enemy will surely come. And so if you're a good reader of the Bible, you find different strategies of warfare in the Bible. You find frontal attack. You find ambush. You have night raid. You have the use of spies. In order to get information about the enemy. For then we live in an unfriendly world. Jesus said, I send you as sheep among Woods. So when we are surrounded by the enemies, how should we pray? Let's go to the book of 2 Kings chapter 6. 2 Kings chapter 6. I read from verse 12. 
12. 2 Kings 6. From verse 12. Are we there? We're going to read quite a few scriptures before I now start networking them. 2 Kings 6, verse 12. And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king. But Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, tell the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in the bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, is in Dothan. As is so fun, we pay woe, oh, and it do that. Therefore, send it thither, horses and chariots, and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city about. They were surrounded. Oh, ye can't, you don't know, no, she ran when she had to take care at your gun last bit. Once it did, you rule, once it yield, no car. And when the servants of the man of God was risen early, they got you, no, she, and you're alone, no, she did, and you could and come for behold, the host compassed the city both with horses and chariots, and the servant said unto him, Alas, my master. How shall we do? Those who are the law, who are going to learn how to teach and to take care of their children, we will pay ye, Baba, me, I will teach you. And he answered, Fear not. For they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man. And he saw, behold, the mountains was full of horses and chariots of fire. Round about Elisha. I pray that the chariot of fire shall surround you too in the name of Jesus. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite the people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Here was a man who, within a matter of minutes, Pray that the eyes of one person should be opened. Then he did a roundabout turn and pray for the eyes of some other people to be blind. That's how we say the prophets of old in the Bible, they use both curses and blessings depending where you stand. If you go and become their enemies, God have mercy on you. This is what you could see there straight away. And it goes on. Look at verse 24. And it came to pass after this that Ben Adad, king of Syria, gathered all his souls and went up and besieged Samaria. So, so Samaria again was surrounded now. Samaria ka. Let us see what happens in 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 6. To those who could have surrounded Samaria. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots, a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel had hired against us the kings of Ethiopia and the kings of Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their asses even the camp as it was and they fled for their lives. The first time the place of Elisha was surrounded in Syria when they surrounded Elisha blindness was the answer 
Second time now they surrounded Samaria. This one, the Lord ordained a terrifying noise. And they fled. I pray that all the enemies camping around you shall hear terrifying noises tonight. They shall hear terrifying noises tonight. They shall hear. 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 And flee in the name of Jesus. Go to Second Kings chapter nineteen. Second Kings nineteen, verse thirty-two. Again, there is a surrounding of Jerusalem. Second Kings nineteen thirty-two. Therefore, thus said the Lord concerning the king of Assyria. He shall not come into this city. Nor shoot an arrow there. Nor come before it. Shield. Nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, on or not, your power. By the same shall he return. Or can on your back by the law, and shall not come into this city, save the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it. For my own sake and for my servants David's sake. And it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out. One angel. And smote in the camp of the Assyrians an hundred fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were yes. all dead corpses. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, departed. After all, he cannot fight any war with dead soldiers. And went and returned and dwelt at Nineveh. Well, God has not finished with Sinakeru yet. And it came to pass as he was worshipping the house of Nisroch is God. That Adramalek and Shareza his son smote him with the sword. Ni Adramalek ati Shareza ri awon mo re fi da pa. His son children say, ah, this this is the idol you are worshiping. All soldiers are dead. You are still worshiping it. They kill him there. Awon mo re sa ko ori sha i lo si ti 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 ko ko awon mo ko fi kumo lo tu imbo ori sha on ba pasi di ori sha. I pray that the idols and the gods of your enemies shall disgrace them. Mo ko adura ko ori sha ati olono awo ta da yo do juti. In the name of Jesus. Yo ori ko Jesu. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. Corinthians ke ori ko kon la. Second Corinthians eleven. Corinthians ke ori ko kon la. Verse 32. Second Corinthians 11, 32. Now look at this one very carefully. Second Corinthians 11, 32 to 33. In Damascus, the, Damascus, the governor under Aretas, the king, kept the city of Damascus with a garrison desirous to apprehend me. Bale ti o wa la be oba are ta fi egbe ogun ka ilu awon ara Damascus mo o n fe lati mu the city was surrounded because of Paul. Won do yi ka ilu na lati mu Paulu. Mo what happened in verse 33? Ki mo ki lo sele ni ese iketale logbon. And through a window in a basket ati loju fere se ninu agbon was I led down by the wall? Last it is Omicale, last it is Omicale, let you do and escape his hand. Simosi, poor, no worry. Please keep all the scriptures in mind. What should we do when surrounded by the enemy? Kill out she, but you're a bad year. How and what should we pray? I do not allow that. Bow loud, she bar when surrounded by the enemy. But you're a bad year. Number one, a kidney. Pray to know the secrets behind the attack. Because if we don't know the secrets behind the attack, it is likely that that attack will resurface again sometime. The agenda of affliction rising a second time is when the secret of the affliction is not known. 
Pray to know the secrets behind the attack. Number two, bind and cast out the spirits of fear. A lot of people pray and pray in fear. And many are so afraid. And the fear does not make their prayers to have impact. I want you to understand that the spirit of the living God is able to intervene in any situation. But once fear moves in, faith will jump out of the window. So bind and cast out the spirits of fear. Three. Request for angelic assistance. Just like you see the angels fighting here by the side of the king of Judah. Four. Pray for revelations from heaven. Badura Revelations from heaven. Like Elisha was able to see those that were defending him. Five. Speak blindness and confusion into the camp of the enemies. Speak blindness and confusion into the camp of the enemies. I mean, the enemies that came to arrest Elisha, they were so blind that they came to Elisha and asked him, where is Elisha? Six. Pray that God should render them helpless. Badura, peki olano so won di eni ti o ni ri ran lowo. Pray that God should render them helpless. Badura, ki olano so won di eni ti o ni ri ran lowo. Seven. Ikeje. Pray that God should ordain terrifying noises against the enemy. Badura, ki olano yon ari weru ti a won ta. Just like that which happened to the soldiers that besieged Samaria. And as they besieged Samaria, they started to hear noises. Eight. Pray prophetic prayers. Prophetic prayers. A prayer that determines the end of the enemy before the war even starts. Number nine. Pray that the Lord will send a blast upon them. A blast upon them. We're talking about how to pray when surrounded by the enemy. Ten. Pray for a division amongst them. Badura, ki ikwen ya, ko shele la anin won. After the order of those building the Tower of Babel. Gege bo ti shele, si a won ton ko, o di abi ile isho, babeli. And there will be confusion of languages. Ti ye di a ye di si shele. Amongst them. La anin won. Eleven. Eko kon la. Pray that the enemy will hear rumors. Badura, pe ki ota o ma agbo a won e ro yin. That would destabilize him and make him go back. Ti yo da lo kan ru, ti yo si mo ko pe yin da. Rumors that would destabilize him. A won e ro yin, ti yo da lo kan ru. And make him go back. Ti yo si mo ko pe yin da. It is not a sermon we are preaching today. Ki she wa su la nse lo ni o. Listen to these teachings very well. E te ti bo yi koni yi da da. Because one day you may need it. Some of us already need it now. We are surrounded by enemies. Twelve. Pray that they fall by their own sword. That their own sword should kill them. Pray that they fall by their own sword. Thirteen. Write a petition against them and table it before the Lord. 
Just like Ezekiah did. Wrote a petition against them and table it before the Lord. 14. Pray that their threats will be punctured. Their threats will be punctured. 15. Report their blasphemies and boasts to God. That is, you report them after the order of the apostles. Who said, Lord, behold, they are threatening. Behold, they are threatening. They reported them to God. And it's a dangerous thing when a person is reported to the Almighty. 16. Pray that the power of God will move as in ancient times. That his power should move as in ancient times. 17. Pray that the Lord will put a hook in their nose. And drag them away. Just like he did to Sinakiru. He put a hook in his nose and dragged him away. Pray that the Lord will put a hook in his nose and hook in his nose and drag him away. Pray that the Lord will put a hook in his nose and drag him away. Pray that the Pray that the zeal of the Lord will put a hook in his nose and dismay them. Pray that the zeal of the Lord should arise to confirm and dismay them. And 19, pray that the enemy should return by the way the enemy came. So by the way he came, that's the way he will go back to. That's what we call back to the sender. 20, pray that the Lord should defend his interest in your life. And the Lord should defend his interest in your life. By praying like that, the Almighty will now defend the city of your life. And the Pray that the Lord will send his warrior angels against them. These are the 21 ways of praying when you are surrounded by the enemy. When surrounded by the enemy, beloved, the only kind of weeping that is allowed is the liquid prayer after the order of Ezekiah. Because that is the only way If you are praying against circular enemies or enemies surrounding you, and you want to use this kind of outline, there are however some do's and don'ts. So I better explain that to you too. Before we now go into a practical session tonight. Because I know that tonight's prayer meeting is for some people here. I know that I'm one of them. And I know that immediately we begin to pray now. Every circular enemy shall scatter. I know there are two persons at least here today. Their circular enemies will scatter. I'm the first person. And the second person is the person who can shout the loudest hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
But there are some do's and don'ts. You see, there are people in our world who have no friends at all. The family from which they were born are wolves. When they send them to school, they go to schools of wolves. They go to the secondary school of goats. From the secondary school of goats to the University of Idol Worship. When they go out, they send them to go and do youth service in the country of sharks. I want to come out they will now go and walk among their enemies again. So all their lives, there's a circle around them. Surrounded by the enemies. I pray that those circular enemies are scattered tonight. Why does the enemy encircle people? Because they want to limit your movement. At least thus far can you go, you cannot go further. Because the only pasture the person will enjoy is only the pasture of the circumference of the enemy. If you are praying against circular enemies, what are the do's and don'ts? Number one, ensure that you repent from every known sin. Any sin in your life will be used by the enemy to gain entrance any day, any time. That's, that is no use in crying and saying, but uh, I've Ask for forgiveness. Before you ask for forgiveness, they are already inside. And your forgiveness you are asking for does not remove the enemy that is already inside. Just like the case of David. David was cursed. Yet he was forgiven. But he was still cursed. Close every door you have opened to the enemy. Number three. And listen to me really, really well now. You must know when to fight. And when to run. There is a time to take cover. There is a time to take over. Jesus was told. Joseph was told to flee Egypt with baby Jesus. God did not ask Joseph, Joseph, the father of Jesus, to sit there and start to fight Herod. He took the baby and ran. Paul had to flee from Philippi and Thessalonica. We read an example where he was let down in a basket. No, when to fight. And no, when to run. A lot of us involve ourselves in useless battles that nobody asks us to go and fight. Useless battle that nobody has to fight. And then we get into serious trouble. Very, very serious trouble. For the Bible says, small is the gate. Toro Narrow the road that leads to life. At Toro Toro Only a few find it. And what the implication of that verse is that most of the people in the world are in the enemy's camp. You must know that one. Most of the people in the world are in enemy's camp. Anybody who is not born again can be used to perform any satanic attack. Five. Never panic. 
You panic, the enemy will gain access. And then six, never give up in surrender. You should not give up at all. You must understand that there is no captain who gives up and wins a battle. I read the story somewhere. There is a small detachment of soldiers. And they were trying to attack somewhere. All of a sudden, by the time they woke up in the morning, they found that they have been surrounded by the enemy soldiers. One of the youngest soldiers asked the major. Said, sir, I've been surrounded. What should we do? The young man was going to, was expecting the major to say, ah, well, we have to surrender. We have surrender when the major faced him and said, all of you, Make sure that none of them escape. So was on my way. And he started fighting. That was exactly what happened. Never give up in surrender. Don't say I've been coming for a long time. I've been doing this for a long time. All the prayers you have been praying might have weakened. The structure of the building of the enemy. Your prayers might have sent an internal termite inside the structure of the enemy. And the, then you are just supposed to give one final blow one day. For everything to come down. If at that level you give up, the enemy will come back. Then they will build a building sevenfold stronger. It will not be more difficult to destroy. Seven things. Number seven is this. You must pray until something happens. Pray until something happens. Tonight, this is where I'm going to stop this short teaching. We now want to practicalize it. There are people here tonight that are going through situations that is almost making them to go out of their minds. There are people here tonight who have been passing through horrible nightmares. There are people here tonight who have been hearing noises in parts of their bodies. There are people here tonight that the enemy has planted materials in their bodies. There are people here tonight who have stubborn spirit husbands. And these spirit husbands have become so stubborn that even in daylight, they are punishing them. There are people here tonight that the enemy has concluded their case and the enemy is already rejoicing that the, the case is over. There are people here tonight who are surrounded by unrepentant household wickedness. There are many people here tonight that the enemy has said, well, this is how far you can move, you cannot move further. So we're we are now going to pray 21 points. Acidic prayer points. But before we even pray those 21 acidic prayer points, we first of all use the strategy of the Bible, which says, God is glorious in holiness and fearful in praise. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. In case you are here tonight, 
you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now. If you don't want the surrounding enemies to swallow you up. That is the first step towards even participating in this kind of prayers. Whatever you are, why all eyes are closed. Just raise up your right hand. No, what? It's okay. Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus today. Just raise up your right hand. No, what? It's okay. And say what I'm going to say after me. Oh, so we tell me. Say, Father. Baba. In the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight, Lord Jesus, come into my life, take control of my life, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. If you said that short prayer with me, immediately we close, just find a way to the altar here, so that we can pray more with you. Before we go into our 21-fold acidic praying, we're going to sing 21 songs of praises. And you should sing even louder than the, you should praise God louder than the prayers. You Praise him with a loud voice. The Bible says that he says rejoice in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. You don't allow the voice of anybody to overshadow your voice as you praise God now. As you are doing it, God who is fearful in praises. We begin to fight your battles for you. You are the mighty man in battle.
Get yourself ready now. The power of God is already moving in the midst. Say, Oh God, our Lord! Oh Lord, I let my enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh God, arise! And let my enemies be scattered. In Jesus' name we pray. Every assembly of witchcraft. Gathered against me. Receive blindness. By fire. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the assembly of which crap gathered against you. Jesus. 
Jesus' name we pray. I want to believe that you are praying. Because many powerful things are happening already. Every witchcraft coven assigned against me I blot you out of the land of the living. Every witchcraft coven assigned against me I blot you out of the land of the living in the name of Jesus. Block them out of the land of the living. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every surrounding enemy receive the hook of fire. In the name of Jesus. Command them to receive the hook of fire. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. That's why you are here tonight. Masika poya bo shendera bo sentia. In Jesus' name we pray. Every conspiracy against my destiny. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. Uh huh. Continue. Continue. Masete kaya bo sheri bo sante kamba. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this the way I'm going to say it. Say shame. It is you and confusion. Arise! Locate my oppressors. Shame. It is you. And confusion. It is you. All right. Locate my oppressors. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now this prayer. Pray you with holy madness. Power source of my enemies. Disgrace them. Dry up. Power source of my enemies. Disgrace them. Dry up. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Disgrace them. Dry up. In the name of Jesus. Masiko poya bo shenderaba. Name we pray. Every satanic intelligence. Every satanic intelligence. Assigned against me. Kill yourselves. In the name of Jesus. Deal with satanic intelligence. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray. Uh, so many things happening here tonight. Say, so my environment. Are you coming? Hear the word of the Lord. Become too hot for the enemy to stay. My environment. Are you coming? Hear the word of the Lord. Become too hot for the enemy to stay. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Become too hot for the enemies to stay. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. This is the kind of prayers that the Bible says make it divine as mad. Terrifying noises from heaven. Arise! Pursue my pursuers. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Terrifying noises from heaven. Arise! Pursue my pursuers. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every assembly of affliction. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this loud and clear. Night oppressions. Night tormentors. Can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Pia Tasika Teyama. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every circular enemies of my father's house. Every circular enemy of my father's house. Shout it loud and clear. Your time is up. Oh, In the name of Jesus. Deal with the circular enemies. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus name we pray. Environmental serpents and scorpions. Environmental serpents and scorpions. I trample upon you. 
In the name of Jesus. Yes. Trample upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Father. Baba me. Disgrace the idols of my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Let the idols be disgraced. Yes, yes, yes. My father. Jesus name we pray Lord for Jesus say my glory over me arise from any backwardness can you shout that loud and clear shine in the name of Lord Jesus my glory Yes, yes. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, God, Jesus. Sakula enemies. Oh, tell me, beautiful. Hear the word of the Lord. Go back the way you came. In the name of Jesus. Let them go back the way they came. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say unquenchable fire. In a Joshua, unquenchable madness. If you will do Joshua, that do not pursue my pursuers. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray by your power as of old oh God arise embarrass my enemies in the name of Jesus Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Oh God, arise. Oh Lord, and defend my life in the name of Jesus defend my life defend my life defend my life in Jesus name we pray so every enemy that has made my matter. So if you are me, can you say that loud and clear? A full time job. 
Can you say this loud and clear? Hey, we may know, Rara. What are you waiting for? Die! In the name no, of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout 21, Jericho destroying. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Shout aloud, Amen.